Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogram.com, and I have a video specifically about the question between two programming languages. I, I normally don't get into the very specifics here, but you know, let's let's have Swift and C Sharp battle it out uh, for 2017. So this is a pretty pretty short question. I figured ah, might as well might as well answer. Might as well give my opinion because I do actually have an opinion on these two languages. But before I do that, let me tell you about the sponsor that we have, a simple programmer, which is Hire.com. I love these guys. Just go to Hire.com forward slash simple programmer and you can check them out. They've got an application. You fill that out, put your GitHub profile, all your kind of cool stuff in there, and then what happens if you get approved to the system? You will start to get interview requests from employers. How cool is that? That's I think that's pretty damn cool. I wish that I could go get a job. I'm, I'm tempted to like make a resume and just like just so I could do it because it, it seems like fun like I don't know. I'm crazy like that like you know whatever. Anyway but you should check it out. Go to uh, hire.com forward slash simple programmer and you know use that link and you, you'll get two thousand dollars when you get a job for them instead of one thousand dollars for going through simple programmer and mention simple programmer and be like yeah and wear your simple programmer t-shirt when you get in your new job to work because that'll be cool and trust the process. All right, so let's talk about C Sharp <laughs> and Swift. So this is from Ernest and he says, what is better to learn in 2017, Swift or C Sharp and why? Will, will Swift be in higher demand than C Sharp or not? Will Swift be a better choice? So this is kind of interesting, okay? I've done some videos on Xamarin, and that's where I'm gonna to point to. That's, this is really the, the depth of the question here, is, is, is Xamarin, is, is Xamarin relevant? Because what Xamarin does, if you don't know about Xamarin, Microsoft just bought Xamarin like last year, is they basically make it so that you can do cross-platform, so you can write iOS and Android code or applications in C Sharp, and it natively compiles down, right? It's it, compiles down to the, the binaries on, on the actual system. So it's not like an emulation, it's not a browser, it's it's the real hardcore stuff here and you can actually use the native controls. So it's, it's re really cool, okay? And they, they, they're they like, they have parity with the APIs, the native APIs of the, of the platforms, right? I've done iOS and Java development natively and I've done it with Xamarin and I can tell you that you it's the same, it's just using C Sharp as the language, but you can do a lot of cross-platform stuff, especially with Xamarin for Forms, which they just introduced uh, a couple years ago and has gotten really popular and this stuff, you know, so, so, so the real question becomes this. It becomes, will what will happen with Xamarin with Microsoft's acquisition, acquisition of it? Will that take off? Will it continue to be supported? And will that be the, the best way to develop versus or not? Because if yes, if yes to Xamarin, then C Sharp, obviously, okay? If no, then Swift will, will, will make more sense, right? Because Swift is just iOS. So if you're not familiar also, Swift, the programming language, is an iOS language, right? It, it, or, well, it's, it's designed for iOS for, for specifically, right? Apple created Swift, it's better than Objective-C, I hope. I haven't, I haven't actually programmed in Swift yet. I've pro programmed plenty in Objective-C, and Objective-C is sort of, it's sort of a painful language, I just have to say. It was, it was not fun porting a Java app to Objective, an Android app to Objective-C, going from Java to Objective-C, just not, not fun at all. Not, not at all, no. <laughs> so, uh, Swift is supposed to be better. Okay, but, but here's the thing. What I would say is my, my bet, my bet is on Xamarin and Microsoft, and my bet is on, and, and this is why I would choose this, right? I think, I mean, okay. Apple is sort of on shaky ground right now. I know they've posted some of the best quarter, you know, in revenue, but I still I see the writing on the wall. There's not really innovation happening at Apple, right? People, I don't mean to bet it, beat a dead horse because people have been saying this a lot. Okay, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe we'll be watching this video and Apple will become like the global ruler of the world or something like that. But but my point is this, I wouldn't put all my eggs into the Apple basket, and I feel like Swift is only gonna be useful in the iOS domain. Yeah, it could be used in other places, and I'm sure it has been, but really it's designed for that platform. And so Swift, if you're going all in on iOS development and you're just gonna develop iOS apps, then you could go Swift, but you could do the same thing just learning C Sharp and using Xamarin, and you could still just develop iOS if you want, but at least you'd have a skill that would that would let you develop Android apps, that would let you develop whatever, micro, you think Microsoft is out of the mobile game? Do you guys really think that? <laughs> Do you really think that, they're, that they've just given up? That they've bought Xamarin and they're like, okay, we'll just help developers write iOS and Android apps. Ain't no way, ain't no fucking way. I'll, I'll tell you, there ain't no way. 
So what are they going to do, right? I want to be, I would want to be prepared for that, right? And C Sharp is going to be the language that they're going to be using. So I feel like if you invest in Xamarin and, and learn that, that's going to be a better choice for you because, you know, again, Swift, yeah, maybe it'll be a more popular language overall, but, but it, it's going to be confined to the platform mostly, where C Sharp is, you can do, run C Sharp on every platform now, right? With Xamarin and with Visual Studio for Mac and, and .NET Framework for Mac and Linux and all this stuff, you can deploy to any platform, you can develop for any platform, right? You can, you can pretty much do everything with C Sharp, and it's, and it's a damn good language. It's my favorite language, I'll, I'll say, you know, so far, it, 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 it's, it hasn't been dethroned in my mind. So there, there you go. I, I think I would go, like I said, with C Sharp, honestly, with the Xamarin Forms route, unless you're just so dead set on Swift. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like if you learn Swift, it's not like you're gonna ruin your career. You'll be, you'll be fine. Like, but it's, I, I don't think there's many options and as much future as there is in, in learning C Sharp and in going the Xamarin route. That to me makes a lot more sense. All right. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed, we could <laughs> uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and you'll get all my videos, as simple as that. All right, I'll talk to you next time, take care.